All right, in this lesson, we're going to learn how to subtract fractions with borrowing. Now, that's the, the old word for it. It's basically when the second number has a fraction that's larger than the first number. And so we have to do something about it in order to subtract, and we call that borrowing. Now, there's two ways we're going to do it in this video. One is called chunking, and the other way is called, you know, the more standard way called regrouping. So let's get started. So we know to start subtracting, you first have to make sure you have common denominators, and right now we don't. So I'm going to assume you already know all the stuff about common denominators. And in this case, our common denominator is 12. And when we multiply by 4 over 4, our new numerator here is 4. And when we multiply by 3 over 3, our new numerator is 9. So at this point, we can see that we're going to have to do something because we're being asked to subtract 9 twelfths, and we only have 4 twelfths over here. So right off the bat, we see that something is amiss, right? Now, parents and teachers, a lot of students are going to want to do 9 minus 4 and get 5, but that's not true. That's not accurate in this case, right? Because we're really doing 4 twelfths take away 9 twelfths. So if anything, we'd be going in, into negatives. So um, what we're going to do here, chunking, is we're going to, this second fraction, the second number right here, means we're going to subtract a 2 and we're going to subtract 9 twelfths. And we're just going to do it in chunks. And we're going to eventually whittle away and subtract our 2 and 9 twelfths in total, but we're going to do it in pieces, a chunk at a time. So we're going to begin by subtracting the 2. So 5 minus 2 is 3. So that gives us 3 and 4 twelfths, and we still have to subtract our 9 twelfths, right? So now we see that uh, 4 twelfths is not large enough to subtract 9 twelfths in this context, so... <clears throat> We're going to subtract just 4 twelfths. So we have 9 twelfths, but let's just subtract 4 twelfths because that's how much this guy has. So if we subtract 4 twelfths, that's going to give us 3 minus 5 twelfths. That's because we're doing this a piece at a time. So we've subtracted 4 twelfths, and so now we have 5 twelfths remaining that we have to still subtract. So 3 minus 5 twelfths. Okay, at this point, if we're thinking about a number line and we're at the number 3, and we're at the number 3, and we're going to go backwards, 5 twelfths. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 twelfths. Where are we going to be? And at that point, we might see that we're going to be at 2 and 7 twelfths, and that is how we do our chunking. So another way a student might think of this is at this 3 and 5 twelfths stage, when if being able to just visualize jumping backwards um, is a little difficult, the student might think of this 3 as 2 and 12 twelfths, and then when we go backwards 5 twelfths, it might become a little bit easier to see that the result is 2 and 7 twelfths. So that's chunking. Now let's take a look at regrouping. So in regrouping, <clears throat> we begin with the same process. We still have to get our common denominator. So our common denominator in this case is still 12. And our new numerators are still 4 twelfths and 9 twelfths. So at this point, <clears throat> it's more of the standard algorithm. We see that we're going to be asked to subtract 2. Do we have enough to subtract 2? Yes. And then we're also going to be asked to subtract 9 twelfths. Do we have enough twelfths to subtract 9 twelfths? No, nope, not the way it's looking right now. So what we're going to do is we're going to think of this 5 as 4 and 1. 4 plus 1, right? But that 1, we're going to think of it as 12 twelfths. 
because that's what that 5 really is. It's a 4 plus 1, and we're going to write that 1 as 12 twelfths. So this 4 plus 1 is 5. Well, now we have 12 twelfths plus the original 4 twelfths, so that means all together we now have 4 holes and 16 twelfths because we took the, took the 5, separated it into 4 plus 1, the 1 we wrote as 12 twelfths. So 12 twelfths plus 4 twelfths gives us 16 twelfths, and bring that 4 down. So now there's our 4 and 16 twelfths. Subtract 2 and 9 twelfths. And now we're going to subtract 2. Do we have enough to subtract 2? Yeah. We have 9 twelfths. Do we have enough to subtract 9 twelfths? Yeah. So let's just go ahead and do it. So 4, let's see, 4 minus 2 is 2. And then 9 sixteenths take away, I mean, 16 twelfths take away 9 twelfths is 7 twelfths. Same answer as with the chunking method. This is the regrouping method. So that's how you subtract fractions when the second fraction seems to be larger than the first fraction in terms of mixed numbers, right? You've got the uh, chunking method on the left. You've got the regrouping method on the right. They both work. They're both about the same amount of work. Just choose the method that makes the most sense to you.